Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to see how to claim SQL certificate for free. If you haven't claimed the Python certificate, now let's see how to claim this Python certificate. Here you can see this video. We have posted this with answers for the certification. You can claim the certificate for free. Now Let's see how to claim the certificate for MySQL. We will search for cognitive class IBM and then let's click on the first link. Let's search for SQL. And you can see there are lots of courses here. Now let's click on this. And then let's click on login to enroll. After logging in, we will be redirected. After coming to this course, we can scroll down here and then we will choose this graded review. And now let's see what we will answer. Now we will tell you the answer for every question. The first question is, what is a database? And the answer for this question is, all of the above. The second question is, advantages of relational model include? And the answer for this question is, all of the above. And the third question is, in an entity relationship diagram, the entity name maps to the table name, the attributes maps to the table columns. Now, let's finish the model 2 graded review questions. The first question is, which of the following statement is true? And the answer is all of the above. And the second question is, which relational constraint prevents duplicate value in a table? And the answer is entity integrity constraint. The third question is, the semantic integrity constraint defines the relationship between tables and it is a true or false question. And the answer is false. Now, let's finish the module 3 graded review questions. And the first question is, the primary key of a relational table uniquely identifies each dash in a table. And the answer is row. The second question is, the insert statement cannot be used to insert multiple rows in a single statement. And the answer is false. The third question is, the select statement is called a query and the output we get from the executing the query is called as result set. And the answer is true. Now, let's finish the module for graded assessment. The first question is, you want to select an author's name from a table, but you only remember the author's last name starts with the letter B. Which string pattern can be used? The correct answer is second option. The second question is, in select statement, 
which SQL class controls how the result set is displayed? And the answer is order by clause. And the third question is which select statement eliminates duplicate in a result set? And the answer is second option. Now, let's finish the module 5 graded review questions. The first question is, an inner join returns only the rows that match. And it is true. The second question is, a left outer join displays all the rows from the right table and combines matching rows from the left table. The answer is false. The third question is, when using an outer join, you must explicitly state that you want either a left join or a right join. And the answer is true. Now, let's take on the final exam. The time allowed for this final exam is 1 hour and the attempts per question is 1 attempt for true or false and 2 attempts for another question than true or false. Clicking the final check button when it appears means your submission is final. You will not be able to resubmit your answers for the questions you ever again. Now let's see the answers for this question. The first question is, the 5 basic SQL commands are, and the answer is, create, select, insert, update, and delete. And the second question is, the blueprint of any database system is, data model. And the third question is, attributes help clarify relationship diagram, and it is false. And the fourth question is, a table containing one or more foreign key is called as a parent table and it is a false. And the fifth question is, the referential integrity constraints ensure that the validity of a data using a combination of primary and foreign key and it is a true. And the sixth question is, what are the basic category of SQL language based on functionality? It is both of the above. And the seventh question is, the create table statement is a DDL statement. And the eighth question is, when using the update statement, if you do not specify the where clause, all the rows in the tables are updated. The answer is true. The ninth question is, you want to select a list of books whose number are pages in between 100 to 200. Select the correct query from the following option. And the answer is first option. The tenth question is, what is the default sorting mode of the order by clause? And the answer is ascending. Right. The eleventh question is, which of the following can be used in a select statement to restrict a result set? And the answer is all of the above. And the twelfth question is, the having clause works only with the group by clause. And it is true. And the thirteenth question is, which of the following are valid types of outer join? And the answer is, all of the above.
the 14th question is a full join returns only the row that match and the answer is false and the 15th question is to combine tables in relational database we use matching values or primary key and the 16th question is true or false Semantic integrity ensures that the data entered into a row reflects an allowable value for that row. And the answer is true. The 17th question is, which of the following statements are correct about databases? And the answer is all of the above. And the 18th question is, which of the following statements are correct about primary key? And the answer is all of the above. The dash keyword is used to eliminate duplicate tuples from the result set of the SQL query. And the answer is distinct. And the 20th question is, select the correct statement about the join operator. And the answer are 1, 2 and 3 options. And then let's click on next and here you can see in my exam. Let's click on in my exam. After submitting this, we will go back to the course. And we will click on certificate and then there will be a process how to claim your certificate and they have said we will go to the progress session and we will request for a certificate we will go to the progress and then we will request for a certificate We will click on view certificate now. And then you can see the certificate here. The cert you can see we have successfully generated the certificate for SQL and relational database. And that's it. We have claimed the SQL and relational database certificate. And it took two to three weeks for us to generate the certificate. Please wait patiently and then claim the certificate after 2-3 to three weeks. Because you can see here, we started the course on 23rd of June and we got the certificate 4th of July. And if you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe and share it to your friends.